Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use SPSS to generate the frequency table of multiple variables as long as they all have the same values. The example I'll be using is for the teacher which was uh, had different questions from 4.1 to 4.7 all measured on a scale of fully disagree to fully agree. It's very important that these are all exactly the same so if you're not fully sure you can right click, copy, select and then right click paste. After that go to analyze custom tables or tables depending on your version of SPSS and click on the submenu custom tables. If you've used this menu before you might want to hit reset and then all tabs just so everything is cleared out. Select the variables that you want to show in my case 4.1 and I'm holding the shift key and then go to 4.7 to select all of them in one go and drag it then to the rows section. As you can see it will display each of them underneath each other but if you change at category position the default to row labels in columns it will actually change. This option is not available it means that one of the values for one of those variables is not exactly the same and you will have to go back to change. As you can see now it nicely displays them all across. If you would want to also see the percentages, you could click on Summary Statistics, click on a Row and Percentage, or if you want the Row Valid and Percentage. If you're using version 24 of SPSS, you first have to click Expand the Row Percentage section, and then you will see the same option. Move it to the Display option, and click on Apply to Selection. I'm using version 23, so it will then disappear this uh, pop-up window. If you're using 24, after you click on Apply to Selection, you will have to click on Close. I'm all done now. Click on OK. And I nicely get one huge table where I can see that, for example, 37% of the students uh, fully disagreed with the option that the teacher was able to motivate them and only 11.1% of them actually uh, fully agreed to that statement. 